I'm Steve Clayton and we're here with Channel 9 at the Microsoft Home. We're going to get a sneak peek around one of the places that not many people get to see. I'm here with Flora Goldthwaite. Flora, tell us a little bit about where we are and uh, what we're about to see. Well, the Microsoft Home has been here since 1994 and what we do is we envision the future. We look 3 to 15 years out and we think about how technology will get integrated into everybody's lives. And we report to Craig Mundy, who is our Chief Research and Strategy Officer. And so we take his vision and we incorporate it into the space. And I'm excited to get to show you a little bit about it. Cool. Let's go take a look. Great. So welcome to our home. Thank you. I pretend to be Mama Higgs in the home here. And we basically show scenarios of how an average family of four will live in three to 15 years. This is like a concept car, so mm -hmm. some of the things that I'm going to show you are things that we know are possible, but we have no idea whether they will really show up in uh, the world in the way that we're sh suggesting. Okay, so what's the first thing you've got for us? So we've got this uh, conductive charging plate here. I'm going to set my phone down here. You'll see there's actually some interface available as well. So one of the things that it does is it actually can charge my phone. You can see it's charging right there. There's connectivity and there's some information associated with it as well other devices I can put down as well. I've got my watch here. I'm going to set that down. Now my watch isn't the smartest device I have, but there is a sensor in it that's capturing information about my health. It's capturing actually heart rate information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill in and get some details about that. There are other devices I'm actually using that also capture information. Automatically it pulls me down a health and wellness center. There's an overall well-being that I can see, how well I'm doing with health targets. Um, you can see here I might be wearing a contact lens or a patch that's also gathering health information. I'm going to go to my fitness record here. The fitness record has activity level, heart rate, hydration. This is pretty cool to be able to have this information access from this tray here. So it helps me to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Let's move on and look at some other things. So one of the great things about this room is all I have to do is turn on the lights to actually turn on the room. You can see the different displays turn on. And this is, uh, I've been here a few times with you, Flora, and this is probably my favorite kind of demonstration in the house. It's this idea of everything in my world becomes clickable. So can you show us what you've got here? Yeah, you bet. So we can look here and you can see that we've got different categories of information. Let's go to um, our music, pull up our music guide. This is all of the music I have access to. So it's things that are coming from broadcast, from the internet, from different subscriptions that I have access to. I can do things like sort it in different ways. So I might want to look at what my favorites are, resource it. So you can see this, there's a lot of information available here. And one of the things that's wonderful is that when I look at something, it can pull information that's in context with it. And you'll see this Celtic woman, I can look at other things that are associated like, for example, previous concerts that I might have gone to. Up here, there's an, actually a travel show that has a bit about Irish music festivals in it. Let's choose this one, because what will happen when we choose it is it will index forward through the program to the point where the Celtic music starts. When I pause this media, one of the things that we do is we actually bring up a pause accelerator. And we can tell what's going on in here. So there's metadata that's associated with this particular frame of this, this program here that can have some details about what we're looking at. But the other thing that we do is we actually analyze the picture itself. We take a picture and we can easily tell that this text, what that says. We can see that this logo, what that is. We can look at items like this. And you'll notice over here on my list, the Contoso backpack, that, that's this backpack right here. We scroll down here, it offers the bus schedule, offers information about Cruddy's Pub. So what we're doing is we're doing a visual analysis of the image that we're seeing here. And we're doing an image to image search and relating those together. Today we're accustomed to doing text searches on the internet, but here it's image to image. It's pretty cool. Cool stuff. So what's next, Flora? Let's go check out my daughter Alex's room. Sounds good. Hey, but what's this thing on the wall? Oh, that's a really cool digital bulletin board. Let's save that for next time when you come. Okay. So Alex, of course, has some of the coolest technology in the house. And we've got this uh, digital wallpaper. As I walk into the room and actually commit to being here, we'll turn on the rest of the room. And these are digital display. And they can show 
any scene that she wants it to be. Right now she's got a skateboarding theme up. It's pretty cool. She's got her favorite band playing right there. Her avatars of friends that are online right now. So this is a really this great ecosystem of a lot of different technologies that she's plugged into right now. You can see that there's text messages coming from a variety of social networks that she subscribes to, whether it's Facebook or Twitter or her friends just texting her. That's all coming in here live. And so, you know, it's a pretty immersive experience, but it can change very easily. All I have to do is point to the corner here and you can see there are a variety of different places that this room could become. There's the Nano Bio Lab, there's the, the uh, 1960s Revisited, but one of our favorite places we like to visit is actually this underwater world. So as you can see, it's really immersive. She's been studying at the aquarium, doing volunteering down there, and so this gives her some uh, extra time with the various fish. Very cool, Floral. I know we've got this great digital mirror over here. Can oh yeah, that's really cool. But let's save that one for next time too. Okay. There's one last thing I want to show you in our entertainment room. It's very cool. So Flora, this looks a bit like the demo we saw back in the room earlier on. Tell me what's different about this one. Well, there's one thing I didn't get to show you that I think is really cool. So this is the same music guide that we were looking at. You can see that we're assorted to popular music. I want to change actually how we're viewing this. So we're looking at tiles. You can see there's a variety of tiles. We could choose to look at this in a timeline view, but I'm actually gonna show you a geographic view. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna take all of that popular music and it's gonna map it to the globe so we can see what's popular where. So I can spin around the world and I can see all the cool music that's happening anywhere. At any time I want, I can drill in, say to Brazil here, and you'll see that it comes up with some pretty cool stuff. You'll notice that some of it's actually American music, but there's some things that I don't recognize. Yeah, it looks like they've got um, Bieber Fever, too. Cool stuff. So uh, that was it. I'll kind of sneak peek a look at some of the stuff that's on the show here in the Microsoft Home. We didn't get to see everything, but we got to see some great new technology, and uh, hopefully we'll be back soon to show you the rest of it. Yeah, looking Thanks forward so. to having you all back. Thanks. Mm -hmm.